Let's talk a little bit about what is called the double cup method. What you have here is a cup on the top with whatever your normal growing medium, whether it be soil or compost, potting mix. You have holes poked in the bottom that the roots can grow out through. In the bottom cup, you can actually add your hydroponic solution. So what you're gonna wanna do is water this plant normally until you see those roots growing out the bottom and even go for some stretches where you're letting it get dry to really force it to shoot those roots out and make them go a little deeper. And then as soon as you see this, you see a root just starting to show up on the bottom. That's when you want to make sure that all of your watering is from the bottom and that you're using your hydroponic solution. And those roots are going to grow very quickly and you'll eventually get some of these very big roots that uh, will just soak up that hydroponic solution. You might find yourself even having to water every day while you're under grow lights and doing this uh, because it does soak up so much of that hydroponic solution, but it'll give you very good growth. And then when you're ready to actually plant your plants outside, the top of the roots are adjusted to being in soil and the bottom of the roots have now been soaking up all this additional hydroponic solution. It's very nutrient rich and it has put on great growth. So you're able to transplant it and have a good strong plant in your garden. And I'll show you one last thing. Sometimes it's tricky to put those holes in the bottom of your cup. So here's a method that works for me. Is if you go ahead and light a candle and then you have just a normal screwdriver and you hold that screwdriver in the flame for a little while just kind of letting it warm up and get to the point that it is able to melt and I think if you have a stack probably as many as five of these cups at once you can just sit here and go through pretty easily but right now we've got a stack of two you still have to certainly apply pressure but um, you get a pretty good even and consistent hole through even the five cups or whatever and then just between each one put your screwdriver back in the flame get it hot again and just come through and melt it um, and see, see now that we've got it nice and hot how, how easily it's just going through these Then the result ends up being a cup with several holes in it. You can ultimately take a box knife and cut between these two holes if you really want good access to be able to pull those roots back out at the end. But for our purposes right now, here's what we're doing. 